Hi guys, I've decided to uh, do a movie review um, today of The Expendables. I, I just saw it about an hour ago. Never got the chance to see it on the uh, pre um, the first night, which was last night. Uh, and I'll just give my thoughts on it. Um, I've been intrigued about the film um, for quite a while. It, it looked quite promising um, from the pictures and uh, from the trailer. Um, it looks like there was a lot, you know, there's lots of action in it, and uh, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be like as Stallone promised, a throwback to the 80s and 90s action movies that don't seem to get be, don't seem to be made anymore. <coughs> um, but I, I don't. That's not necessarily true. They are true. There are sort of films out there, but they normally go to DVD nowadays. Um, so I, I was intrigued about the film. Obviously, Hot Toys have got the license. Uh, to make the movie, they're going to be making uh, figures of Stallone, Jet Li, and uh, was it Stallone, Jet Li, and Jason Statham? They're going to be making figures of those. So a lot of people are very excited about that. And uh, I, I've looked at the reviews already, and I know some a lot of people have enjoyed the movie. Um, I'll give them, I'll give you what I thought of it. Um, it. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it either. So. Uh, I'll give the read. I think the, probably the best. I mean, it's obvious what to, what there is to love about this film. To love about this film is is the uh, action scenes and mainly the action scenes involving guns and knives. There, that's pretty cool. Um, I'll give my reason why I just brought those two um, styles of fighting up rather than because uh, I want to uh, talk about another style of fighting that um, wasn't done very well. I thought in the movie. Um, I think what lets it down a lot is the plot. Now you're saying, oh, this is an action movie, it's meant to be, you know, sit there, switch your brain off, enjoy the film, have fun. And I wouldn't have had a problem with that if if the plot was simple, simple as anything. You know, if you could just sit down and you know, there's a bad guy in a, in, a, in, a, in a jungle or in a city and he's, uh, you know, treating the villages horribly and uh, these guys are sent in to rescue the people. That's what, you know... Simple plot like that. That's what I sit down there, switch my brain off. This doesn't have that. This has um, a great, like, a great start scene uh, um, where they're they they're on another mission, kind of like James Bond, you know, where he's on a different mission at the start. So you just get to know, uh, just get get involved in the action straight away. So you have that, um, and then it then goes into. Um, plot development and uh, unfortunately Stallone uh, gave a large chunk of this movie to uh, a rather convoluted plot um, that uh, involved uh, one guy, asked, uh, Bruce Willis' character um, asks Sylvester Stallone uh, to go on a mission for him. Um, There's a good scene between him and, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger unfortunately is looking a little bit old now but uh, you know He's still, it was still great to see him on um, on the screen. I, I, I had a buzz seeing the three guys together. Um, but anyway, Bruce Willis uh, asked Sylvester Stallone to go on this mission for him, and then it turns out that he's been sent there to kill another guy who was in the CIA. Um, and this guy in the CIA is using another guy who's a general of the um, city uh, to make cocaine and... Uh, his daughter, the general's daughter, is a good woman in there and she wants to fight against the general who has uh, a good heart deep down, um, but uh, um, we never really get to see it. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's, it, it, and it, you're sort of going, uh, who's the bad guy, is it the general, is it is it the guy, uh, the American guy who the CIA are after, uh, and uh, in that, the film doesn't really make its mind up until the end of the movie. Um, who you're meant to really hate. I, I actually thought that that is a bad. The bad thing about this film is is the bad guys. They're not well drawn out. They really couldn't care less whether they lived or died kind of characters. Eric Roberts, you know, just playing a sim similar bad guy that he always plays. Um, you know, a guy in a suit uh, who has a loads of, loads of goons running around him, and uh, he seems to be making a, a niche for himself in in that in that respect in in that role. Fair play to him. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin is basically a guy who doesn't say much and sort of just stands at the back and uh, then when the action's required for him to fight, he fights. You don't, really don't get to know much about his character. Um, and as I said, the bad guys are, bad, are badly done. Not very... 
couldn't, you know. Well, the pro okay, I'll give you an example. Rambo, okay, the last Rambo film. Um, now, the end scene of that is where, you know, he's killing all the bad guys um, with that massive gun he's got. And those guys are exploding everywhere, bits and pieces flying everywhere. And uh, you're punching the air, you're like, yeah, you know, because uh, Rambo, um, in, in that film, you see those guys, they're, they're real bastards. I mean, they, they, they kill uh, children and villages and people. And, and you really, like, want Rambo to get, get them and kill them, you know. Um, with the bad guys in this, it's... Uh, they're growing cocaine and uh, they're horrible to a few guys who are in the local village, uh, which is not really explained why. Um, I, I don't know why they have to bully it. I think they want them to make the, the, the cocaine uh, or the cocoa uh, plant grow quicker. So uh, St Stallone turns up there with Statham, and this is, and this is in the middle part. He turns up with Statham, and, and then it's... Um, but he forgets to bring the other Expendables with him, so then it turns into this like uh, buddy movie where it's uh, him and Statham and they're exchanging back and thought forth and uh, um, you know it's, the dialogue's not that funny to be honest with you and it's and it's quite drawn out and you're kind of sitting there going oh. and then there's there's bit pockets of action in there um, and you do get the you no know, Statham's character he's pretty cool he's pretty good. But, um, you know, nothing, nothing uh, too deep, which you don't want in this type of film. But um, yeah, I mean, the, it, it turns into this buddy film, film, and it seems to completely forget the rest of the uh, the, the gang that are on the on the poster. You know, um, on the lineup. By the way, that um, you, you don't see any more Bruce Willis. <laughs> um, if you if you hope to see more than what you see in the trailer, you're not going to see more of him. And, and of course, Arnold, which um, is a given. We we knew he was only going to be a cameo in it. But anyway, we got uh, through to the the past the buddy scene. They're they're back, and uh, then Jet Li comes in, and uh, Dolph Lundgren, who's on their team, um, he falls out with them. Uh, that's not really a spoiler. That's on the trailer, um, and uh, because he's gone a bit psycho, a bit like uh, how he did in Universal Soldier, <laughs> and um, I don't know, something happens, and and him and Jet Li. Um, he he joins the bad guys for some strange reason. I think I think he just feels a little bit miffed that he's not in the Expendables anymore, and it ends up with him and Jet Li having this uh, hand to hand combat fight. And uh, I love Jet Li. I think he's a fantastic martial artist. Um, uh, I I really enjoy watching him fight um, in his movies. And um, what they did was uh, they they did the the, the hand to hand combat born identity style. You know, like 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 really close up with uh, all sort of quantum of solace style as well, really close up, and you can't really see anything. You know, if I, I I I want to I enjoy martial arts movies, and I want to, I want the camera to go back, and I want to see the guys fighting and and, and kicking ass. That's what I want to see, and uh, oh, the constant use of this now in films where they, they have to do it right close up, and uh, you don't see much of the of the actual uh, art of combat. I mean. Dolph Lundgren is a, uh, a, a, a quite a good kickboxer. I think that was what his his career was before he got into movies. And uh, Jet Li, as we know, is a fantastic martial artist. We could have quite easily just let the guys, you know, sort the fight out for themselves and and just pan back and and see it unfold. But uh, they didn't want to do that. Um, the knife that when the knives are being used, ah, oh, there's some brutal things going on there. That's pretty cool. And uh, the gu the guns and the, and the bullets, they they look fantastic. Um, you know, in in, in this movie, uh, the blood uh, and the gore. Uh, there's a scene where Stallone cuts a guy's head off, and it does look very CGI. Which I was I was quite surprised. I thought, you know, well, if you're going to go back to the eighties. Why use you know such excessive use of CGI uh, in in the action scenes? Um, I'd have rather him sort of kept that more organic, um, and you know gone away from the digital aspect of it. Um, so we get we we've had this we get the buddy scene out of the way, and uh, you know Stallone meets a girl there he cares about. Um, we have a little bit of story about Statham's character and. Um, he likes this girl, and this girl's being bullied by a new boyfriend, so of course he takes him out, it's so obvious. And um, then the team finally get together at the end, and by that time you're kind of thinking, uh, oh, you know, well, I really haven't got to know any of them, really. I mean, Terry Crews, you know, 
he starts talking and and when and, and, and his dialogue you kind of think oh this guy's pretty cool I mean he's I like Terry Crews he's a good actor um you know he's a good comedy actor um and I'd have liked to have known uh, a bit more about him I'd bit like to have known a bit more about Randy Couture's character as well um you know if you're going to have this like poster saying with all these guys in I I want to I want to know more you know I'm sure I haven't seen the 18 film but I'm sure that each character is given enough time to be evolved, developed, sorry. You know, um, it doesn't happen in this. They, they just basically turn up at the end and help Sloan fight the bad guys. Uh, the action at the end is, is really good. I like, you know, there's plenty of explosions, there's plenty of violence, there's plenty of fighting. Um, uh, the, the, the gun, um, the, is it the AA-12, I think it is? Um, from Predators, I think Terry Crews has that, and the bullets, you know, the, shows how devastating that that gun can be. I think he said it was like 240 bullets in a in a minute or something. It was something crazy. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, you know people explode, and uh, um, that time at that time you can just switch your brain off, but. Uh, and just enjoy the fun, but I don't know. I just um, because of the middle, the, the you know the saggy middle part of this film, uh, the whole waiting for it to happen. I was kind of like, uh, you know, oh, finally. But I'm I'm sort of tired by the, the, all this uh, drawn out um, middle part of, of me not really uh, caring anymore. Um, it should have been. It should have just been them on a mission. Um, you know, like get to know them. Twenty minutes. Them on a mission. That's what I would have preferred to happen, but unfortunately, Stallone wanted to. Um, similar to what pre happened to Predators, really started off really well, and then it it got to a part where it just slowed so far, so that you know, slowed down. It slowed really slow, became really slow. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting a, a little bit uh, tongue tied here, but um, it became really slow, and then. Uh, by that time, you're sort of drained a little bit by by the uh, the whole experience, and then when the action tries to pick itself up, it's it's too late. And I, I, I it worked a little bit better in Expendables. I, I I will say that at the end, when the you know the action scene is quite long, and uh, you do sort of enjoy it, but um, it it could have been the film could have been so much more. Um, there was great characters in there that um, could have been used better. And uh, I don't know. I know a lot of you guys enjoyed it. I can see why, um, because you know you probably love that end scene. You probably love the the fighting and everything, and and it's great to see Stallone uh, back. You know, back doing what he does best. Um, but uh, I would say it's not as good as I don't think it was as good as Rambo. I thought Rambo had more more heart I thought that you actually cared more about what was going on in that film and especially with Rocky Balboa which I think is one of his best films he's made I still I still think that I think it's I think it's one of it's up there with uh, Rocky 2 and 3 which I love you know Rocky of course is on its own that's a fan and First Blood those two movies can't be touched but um uh I, I think uh, Rocky Rocky Balboa sat well with two and three. Um, it, you know, ignore the the other two. The, they're good fun, but um, they can't be taken seriously. But you know, if you're going to watch Rocky Rocky two, Rocky three, and then Rocky Balboa, is is you know, it's a great uh, set of films to watch together. So I, I personally think Rocky Balboa and Rambo were, you know, s still above the Expendables. Uh, Expendables is good fun, probably good to get your mates when it's out on DVD, you get your mates around, get some beers in, watch the film, maybe fall asleep in the middle part <laughs> and then nudge your mate um, awake, you know, um, when the action starts up again and you'll probably enjoy it. But uh, anyway, that's my take on the film and uh, if you really enjoyed it, I, you know, and you're a bit disappointed that I'm putting it down a little bit, I apologise, it's just my opinion. But uh, anyway, that's my review of The Expendables, catch you later guys.